Hi, my name is Claire Jones and I'm the Yo-Yo to Mojo Healthy Weight Solutions Expert and you can find me at www.youronelife.co.uk I'm a highly knowledgeable and experienced multi-skilled weight management specialist and personal trainer and I'm famous for helping people to work harder on their minds than on their bodies. Having overcome my own 25 year yo-yo dieting battle and sustained the transformation to my health and my life for the last 10 years, now I help others. We only get one life, so I help people to make the best of it. I specifically empower long-term yo-yo dieters and serial dieters to unlock their inner resources and create their very own unique, permanent healthy weight solution so that they can end the yo-yo dieting battle and make the most of their lives. This is my story. For many, many years, I had problems with managing myself in general, I think. And it was one of those things was my relationship with food. I had very low self-esteem, and I suppose I didn't really feel very secure generally throughout a lot of my life, up to my mid-30s. And I also didn't know how to deal with it. Although on the outside, no one would ever know, having seen, you know, that I seemed to be coping very well, I learned to put on a very good front and was holding down a high pressure full time job as a senior manager in the NHS. Now, obviously, food is a very common way of dealing with our emotions, as is spending money. And so I had about 25 years of yo yo darting, and also alongside that, I wasn't particularly good at managing my money either, or relationships. I got divorced from my first husband in 2001. There were times when I begrudgingly had to go to my dad and ask for help, which he willingly gave me, but I always felt incredibly guilty about it and absolutely full of shame because I just couldn't seem to manage myself. From 2006 to 11, I finally started getting on top of managing myself and I did a lot of work on myself with help from various people and my very supportive family, including my second husband. And as a result of that, I managed to stop smoking, get on top of my weight and managing my money a lot better and really started living my life. As my children were growing up and becoming more independent and I had more time. And then sadly, in 2016, my father became ill and of course I wanted to help him as much as I could. And I took a career break and spent a lot of time looking after him, getting him the right help. It was a really traumatic time when I look back on it. A really, really difficult time and very, very stressful. When I went back to the work at the end of 2017, once we'd got him settled and we knew what was going on, I realised that I really wasn't very happy in my job anymore. And it was a real revelation that there actually was a world outside of my job. Then my father sadly passed away in June 2018 and he left me some money and because of the history of feeling that I'd not been very good at managing myself and not being able to um, manage my money and my weight and all of those sorts of things, um, I'd felt a, you know, a bit of a failure um, and that he'd had to help me out at times. I was really a bit worried about whether I'd be able to manage this responsibility. But I was also very keen to make sure that what I did with my money was something that was in line with his values, which were very much about health and well-being. And because I'd been able to get on top of my weight for the last 10 years, which is actually quite rare, when the statistics tell us that unfortunately 95% of people who lose weight actually regain it again, and I'd been able to maintain my weight for 10 years by this point, I realised that I had something really special to offer. And indeed over the years many people would informally ask me for advice and I would say that I'd inspired them. And so the penny dropped. Why on earth? Am I not making my living using my passion to help others? And so I decided that I needed to leave my job and start my own business, helping others who'd had lifelong struggles with their weight too. So I've been able to use all of the qualifications and experience that I'd already had through my job, but also gained lots of new qualifications. I was so fortunate that I could use my inheritance to be able to afford to leave my job and to do all of this training. And so once I'd done that, I just went out there and started doing it. And so that's really, you know, what, 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 what it's all about. Doing my business is my absolute passion. 
and I went live with my business two weeks before lockdown in 2020, the first lockdown. And and uh, yeah, that was not the best timing, but actually um, it turned out to be very good timing for me. And I fully believe that I have the power to change many people's lives and I'm already doing it. And the feedback that I get about my approach and how it is so different to what people have done before and the results people get with losing weight and keeping it off. People tell me for the first time ever they feel they're actually getting on top of things and actually feel more in control and now can finally understand why it's been so difficult for them to manage their weight up till now and so what they need to do differently. That's absolutely crucial. And my business is my dad's legacy and my way of paying forward what he gave me. So now I am passing that gift on to you so that you can finally get on, your, on top of managing your weight for good and make the best of your life too.